Season's greetings from Norfolk, Nebraska, a Christmas rhapsody in lights. From its first year, the John and Connie Day residence has become a must-see drive-by every Christmas season. Started a mere five years ago, each year brings many, many new displays and lights for the young and young at heart eyes to enjoy. Once a season or once around the block is almost always not enough. Many folks go once a week or bring friends back from out of town to enjoy the animated scenes and colorful displays. John's past Christmases consisted of being home for a two-week hiatus from a job that took him all over the United States. When he got off the road in 1986 and Christmas was coming up, he thought of his hometown, Baltimore, and the house where people from all over town would come to see the elaborate Christmas displays and lights. To John, this remembrance would represent his way of giving back what was given to him in his youth. The hopes, the joys, the wishes, and the majesty of the Christmas season. In fact, the scenes are for young eyes. The sparkle in the eyes of children and the happiness and joyousness of the season is the reward for the days. 1990s setting consists of close to a quarter of a million lights, with over 182,000 miniature lights on the outdoor evergreens alone. Nearly 18 miles of lights, put up with over 200 foot of scaffolding and connected with over four miles of power cords. Other power connectors tie together many relays and sequencers, turning on and off various scenes and lights. Over 4,500 man hours by the days, five full-time employees and five part-time workers have been lovingly given to prepare for your enjoyment and to add to your Christmas spirit in the true sense of Christmas, peace on earth and goodwill to man. Numerous motors and gears drive and animate the displays. The lighting is estimated at over 70,000 watts. A 14-foot evergreen Christmas tree adds to the decor on the interior, with the tree having close to 14,000 red miniature lights on it topped with a winged, moving, lit angel. Three open houses, sponsored by civic groups and hosted by John and Connie Day, were held on Tuesday nights with over 2,500 people sharing in the joy of the inside of the home. In 1990, two Sioux City television stations and one Omaha television station did feature stories on the display. CBS sent the story to affiliates by satellite, and a Baltimore, Maryland, and a Louisville, Kentucky television station are known to have carried the story. Newspaper feature stories were part of the coverage generated by the Northport Daily News, the Sioux City Journal, and a byline story by Tom Allen of the Omaha World Herald. The dis display includes its own FM radio station, XMAS. Motorists are treated to Christmas music and information on the displays at 102.5 on the radio dial. People came from as far away as California and Florida to view the Christmas music. planned and several spontaneous groups of singers showed up in the evenings to carol for the many walkers and watchers.
nativity scene brings moving majesty to Christ's birth scene in the manger with the wise men and the animals watching. In the elves' workshop, we see the busyness of a deadline of Christmas Eve. Elves can slough off, but with the proper supervision and a watchful eye, they can get finished in time for Christmas. In the Christmas mail room, everyone is getting ready for the delivery of all of the presents for all the good boys and girls. Santa is looking over his list to make sure everyone gets their favorite toy. Over 4,000 ornaments from all Norfolk public and parochial elementary school children adorn one multicolored tree. These decorations were made for Red Ribbon Days, a nationwide effort for awareness of drug and alcohol abuse in cooperation with the Drug Awareness Council of the Norfolk Schools. In the reindeer house, the deer are getting restless to leap into the sky carrying Santa and the presents and spreading good cheer and joy. The caboose is ready to take a load of characters for a ride to the North Pole. Christmas morning shows the excitement and anticipation of Christmas morning, but it just doesn't come fast enough. Only the dog can see the future fun. Three 22-foot candy canes majestically look over all the activities at Gingerbread Square, where gingerbread men and women are skating, enjoying the pleasures of and the wonders of winter to pass the time until Christmas. Soldiers march to the beat of the drummer boy around the driveway. Loving teddy bears are looking for their Christmas tree in their old covered wagon. Now, just sit back and enjoy the scenes of the Rhapsody of Lights at the John and Connie Day residence at 609 East Maple Avenue in Northport, Nebraska. A Christmas Rhapsody of Lights. Season's greetings, and may God bless you all.